How to change paragraph text spacing on Squarespace. Hey everyone and welcome. I hope you're all doing great. In this video, I will show you step by step how we can actually achieve this. Now, there are two things that you need to understand. One, it must be a paragraph or a heading. So you will need to know exactly which type of text it is because it is actually going to make a difference. Second of all, uh, is that you cannot actually do it from the um, built-in formatting options from Squarespace. So let me just show you what I'm trying to say here. If you click on edit to any um, page with text here, so for example, this one, if you try to highlight this text and you go to the formatting options here, you cannot actually do so. You have the bold option, italics, colors, highlight, uh, centralize them and bullet points and so much more, but there's no spacing. So you don't have that option from the formatting. So instead, you will need to do it with custom CSS. Now, it is actually very simple and easy to do, so it's not complicated at all, so don't worry. But first, what I need you to do is go ahead and open up your uh, Squarespace, open up the text that you want to format and increase the spacing for. Uh, for example, this one. Go ahead and actually highlight it for me and just see whether it's going to be a heading, heading one, two, three, or paragraph, because this here is a paragraph and this is a heading and I'm going to do both of them and I will show you exactly how, how it works. So click on save after you're done and just click on exit. And now from here, you want to just go to the pages option from the website. So just click on pages and then you want to scroll down to the bottom until you find the website tools. Click on that and then we want the custom CSS option. Click on that. So let's say we want to work on the paragraph first because the title of this video is paragraph and it's going to work for all paragraphs as well. So what you need to do is just go ahead and enter P, the letter P for paragraph, and then you want to add the curly um, brackets here. Hit enter once and then do line dash height colon space and then you want to enter the amount which is going to be for time being three. And then you want to add em and this is going to as you can see increase the spacing if you want it to be less you can just do two you can do 1.5 or something and it's going to be looking like that but you can see in the middle it's not actually doing anything because this is a heading uh heading two specifically so you will need to actually uh address that in the css so if you wanted to actually apply to a heading Instead of P, you want to basically replace the P with H1, 2, or 3, depending on which type of heading it is. So this is heading 2, so we would want to do H2. And then you can see that the heading now has the spacing option, or increased the spacing. If you want it to be 1.5, for example, it's also going to achieve that for you. If you want it to be 2, I think it's going to be a little bit better. It's also going to do that for you. So first, again, just make sure what type of text it is that you want to change, and then you enter it right down here. Now, if the P does not work for you, for example, if you enter P and you do the, insert, the entire code and does not work for you, make sure you go to the editor. Uh, let's just go back here, click on edit, and make sure that the text is actually paragraph 2. Uh, you know, if it was at paragraph one first, go ahead and make it paragraph two, and hopefully this one is going to work for you. So hopefully you found this video to be helpful, and thanks for watching.